Pretty sure the deer are moving this morning. Good crisp morning. It was foggy a little bit ago. That lifted pretty quick. Crows are awfully noisy this morning already. Got a couple of owls down there. Every so often you can hear them do their little hoot sequence communicating back and forth. Sounds pretty cool. Figure I'd give Ron at least 45 minutes to get in there before I start kicking things around on my way down. I'll tell you what, it gets pretty frustrating because I've messed up at least 12 good opportunities on some nice deer over the past three weeks. And if we're speaking on God's terms, he'd be like, Bill, I know you failed the last 12 times, but you know I'll always give you another opportunity. But if it was me, I'd be like, I already gave you enough opportunities. Take your friends out, give them some opportunities. Anyway, enough of my rant. I'm gonna get in here today, see if we can get it done. Got out a little late this morning. Here in PA. Gets light out about six now since we turned the clocks back. And uh, right now it's about seven o'clock. I picked up Ron. I dropped him off about 400 yards down the road and he was running before the door was even open. He was gone. So I gave him about 45 minutes and I can back up here to the east a couple hundred yards and I'm going to walk straight down to the creek, sit on this side of the creek, see if anything comes through. He runs on the other side of the creek and went up probably another hundred yards. See if we can work together and get something done here today. This is the access point that Ron and I used the first time we went out scouting for this season. So I'm going to sneak down through here. There's a small stream that runs from here all the way down to the creek. I'm just going to go down here and do a ground sit for a few hours, see if there's anything moving. And later on this evening, my son-in-law Mike and Ron and myself are going to head up the mountain and do an evening sit. Oh, the leaves are still pretty crunchy. Got a little bit of rain yesterday, but not quite enough to soften everything up. Well, it's super quiet in here this morning. Not even a breeze. I made it down here by the creek. I've got myself tucked in against a log. And the other section of the log has fell over. So I got some cover behind me. In front of me. Here's the creek, five yards. I got some brush covering me right here. There's a heavy crossing right here in front of me. You see where they're crossing the creek a lot. Pines over here to my left and up a little bit further, it's an old clear cut. Across the creek here, we have open hardwoods, a couple mixed in pines and oaks, and Ron is up there 125, 150 yards in a tree stand. He said he just had a doe come down, but she turned around and walked back up the mountain. Not quite sure why she turned around. It's a beautiful crisp morning. November 11th. So we've got one more week to get this done. Myself and Ron and my son-in-law Mike are planning on coming down here to do an evening hunt. And we're gonna set up around the perimeter of where we've been seeing all those bucks. See if one of us can get one of these bucks out of here. If 
we can't get it done this morning. I'm hearing a deer grunt. I don't know if that was Ron up the mountain grunting. That sounded like more like it was my left. I thought I heard it coming from over there. I'm going to jump off this camera for a minute. If I see any deer, I'll make sure the cameras are rolling this time. I'm starting to see a pattern in here, which is pretty neat because if you spend enough time in a specific area and you get to know it really well, you start seeing different patterns and signs. There's a heavy trail right here going across the creek that the deer are using. And there's quite a few of them up and down the creek here. If I would walk across that, same trail that the deer are using. They'll stop using that for a little bit and they'll go down to the next trail and use that one. Anywhere where they're getting any kind of human scent or something's not right, they'll stop using that trail and use the next one down or the next one up. It's a pretty neat pattern. I left and went and got lunch. And uh, picked up Mike. Mike and I are gonna get in here and do an evening hunt. And uh, Ron's about 400 yards to the west. Let's try to get in here and see if we can get something done this evening. I brought my son in law Mike in with me. I have him set up down on the other side of the creek to the north. He's about 200 yards away. He's hunting over some scrapes, some fresh scrapes. And then over that direction, which would be west, Ron's hunting the old witty tree stand. And he's probably 350 yards over that direction. I'm back in here against these three trees that I was seated in couple days ago. I have us all set up in a triangle. So if these bucks are moving, hopefully they come in between us so we can at least see what's going on. Maybe get a shot. I ended up moving another 75 yards up the mountain and to the west a little bit. A little bit closer to where I know they're coming down across this little freshwater spring in front of me. Right here. It's a freshwater spring. And right there's the third funnel. I was sitting down there about 70 yards. I decided, well, I might as well start pushing. I'm sitting here and I didn't even notice this until like 10 minutes after I was already sitting here at the bottom of this tree. <laughs> I got two branches right here on the tree that I'm sitting at that are all rubbed up. There's three different bedding areas up here. One of them's about 100 yards behind me to the west. The other one is straight up. And then about 150 yards to the east is another bedding area. And at each spot where there's a bedding area. It's rubbed up real good. There's a couple of scrapes. And then they stop at a certain point. And you can see the trail where they've been going up in. It's 
pretty interesting. 